Hello once again. So we are now on our problem solving for the topic of symmetrical components under power system analysis or power systems too. But before we do the calculation parts, if you want to have a copy of the problems, ah. as usual, go to the description link of this video. And from that link, you will have your main problems, which is this, and some supplement, supplementary problems that you will solve to master the topic so that you can be can practice and you can analyze problems okay now let us uh, solve problems one and two and before we do that let us read the problem first given a three phase unbalanced voltages va 100 bar 30 vb 300 bar negative 60 and VC is equal to 150 bar 145 degree volts, respectively. You need to find the negative sequence component of the line voltage VA. Okay, now in this case, to solve for this problem, we must recall some things. Okay, here instead of current, as I mentioned from the last slide, we can use voltage as well. So the given here is the voltages VA, VB, and VC. It is not specified if that voltage is a phase or line. Okay, But again, we can uh, uh, assume that this is in terms of per phase voltage. Okay, I could say VA and VB and VC. So no problem with that. Okay, if you're given you now with these voltages and the required is a component, so the required is VA2, the negative sequence component of the la of the phase voltage VA. So in this case, for this, we need to have or to recall the Fortescue's matrix. So the Fortescue matrix number two. Okay, so we need to. Uh, to uh, uh, to remember this or to recall this one. So from there, on the third uh, row, we can get VA2 there okay, by having one-third of VA plus AB squared VB plus AVC. And you, you need to multiply by one-third. Or simply, we will recall that one. Okay, one-third. One, 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 one. A, A squared, cross multiply A, cross multiply A here, A squared. Okay, and then this is your voltage VA0, VA1, VA2, and then you have VA, VB, and VC. And using again the column row technique here, or the CR technique, you can now get this equation here above. One third of VA plus A squared of VB and A plus A times VC. And please take note again, your A is 1 bar 120 and your A squared is 1 bar 240. Okay, so you already have the formula, you have already the given, then substitute. So substitute all of the values from. The problem VA is 100 bar 30, A squared 1 bar 240, uh, VB 300 bar negative 60, A is uh, 1 bar 120, and uh, uh, VC is 150 bar 45. So if you substitute all of those values, we will yield with VA2 as simply equal to negative 75.46 minus J33.13 or in, or in polar form. 82.41 bar 203.7 degree volts. So a very, very uh, uh, easy problem. As long as you uh, remember the Fortescue's matrix number two. Okay, let us move forward to another number, which is problem number two. Okay, I read the problem for you. So given uh, three unbalanced currents, IA is equal to 0 plus J12. IB is equal to 5 minus J10. 
amperes and IC is equal to 10 minus J5 amperes, find the negative sequence component of the line current IC in amperes. So the solution is on the half of this board. So I use the half of the board so that we can uh, ha we can have the uh, whole consumption of the time, of course. So problem number two here is the given is like currents. So instead of voltages, so what I've done you now on this uh, given here is I uh, convert it to its corresponding polar form. So the polar form 0 plus J12, 12 by 90, IB5 minus J10, 11.18 bar negative 63.43. IC is negative 10 minus J5 equal to 11.18 bar 206.57. Now this is the same situation on problem number one you're given is i a i b and i c in any order required is what is the line uh, the negative component of line current i c or i c2 okay so our technique there if you recall what we have discussed on the last slide or last lesson that you need to have the the uh, Four test cues. Matrix one first, or matrix two rather, and you need to get I A first, I A two, because here you have the negative component. So get I A two, and then from our technique that if that is a negative sequence, you can now get the relationship of I C two with respect to I A two. So that will be the plan. So again, this is the same thing with this, but the only difference is instead of uh, voltage, it will become current. So IA0, IA1, IA2, you have IA, you have IB, and you have IC. So you need to get IA here by using the column or CR technique, column row. So, and then multiply it by one third, you will yield with the same pattern here. But instead of current. Okay, you have this equation here. And then all you have to do is to substitute A squared, which is 1 bar 240. A is 1 bar 120 on the line currents. And this equation here, one third of IA plus A squared IB plus AIC, it will yield with this answer, which is 2.25 K bar 105.69. 855 degree amperes but now our main goal is to get ic2 so how will get ic2 okay recall again the relationship of ic2 in terms of ia2 so ia2 here negative sequence you have ic2 here acb so the relationship of ic2 with respect to ia2 is this how many degrees and it is counterclockwise, 1 bar 240. Or simply, in terms of other words, that is A squared or 1 bar 240. And thus, multiplying A squared by IA2, this is already looks fun. Okay. And it will be chipips kapatid. Multiply 1 bar 240. This one, no, this value of IA2, the answer is 2.25 bar, negative 14.3 degree amperes. So if you know the concept, you know how to uh, to substitute values, and you know to manipulate formulas, you can answer any problems that you want. Okay, let us go forward to the next problems. Stay tuned. Hi, and hello once again. So we will uh, continue our discussion on symmetrical components under the power system analysis topic. So we are in problem number three. So we read problem number three. So there are three unbalanced three-phase voltages are given as follows. VA is equal to 150 plus J0. VB is equal to negative 90 minus J20. And VC is equal to negative 120 plus J90 volt. We need to find the zero sequence components of the voltage at phase A. So now, if we see the given already, I already... Uh, Right, all of the given here. 
But we do not know what is the voltage there. So I assume that is a in phase voltage. So I have an assumption here that VA, VB, and BC is in terms of phase N or VA N, VB, and BC N. They have the value 150 plus J0, VB N minus 90 minus J20, and BC N negative 120 plus J90 degree volts respectively. So the required is what is the voltage at A at the zero component. So all you have to do is to recall your four test queues matrix again, number two, and you need to locate from the matrix IA zero or in this problem we have V zero. Okay, for that you can recall the video here or the video that we we have already presented on problems one and two, and you have VA zero is one third of VAN plus VBN plus VCN. Now we can have another important formula in terms of the zero sequence component, which is very very important in terms of the full calculations. So I need to present this problem so that we can derive that formula. So in terms of the currents, we can have this one. They are the same, right? This is the voltage formula. This is the current formula. They are the same sequence. No problem. Now, here is a Lux pump. What is IA, IB, and IC if we add all of them? That is simply your currents at the balance system. Okay? So if you add this one, these are your currents. But if you add them, it is looks fun to us that that is the neutral current. And therefore, we can have you know, the relationship of your neutral current in terms of the zero components, which is a very, very important for such analysis on faults. So it means that you have a neutral current or involvement of the current or ground if you have the zero sequence components of the currents. Okay, now in this case, we can now go back to the problem and you need to add VAN, BBN, and BCN here. Okay, so using your calculators, the answer for VA0 is negative 20 minus J10 degree volts. So we will go to problem number four. Stay tuned. Hello to all of you. So our uh, last problem under symmetrical components and on the topic of power systems 2 or power system analysis is this problem number four a very good problem which is uh, an uh, an application of an unbalanced system and getting the components of the line currents okay let us uh, read the problem first you have a balanced delta connected load and one line is being opened assume line a current is the reference vector and line A carries a 20 ampere okay so what will be the uh, positive sequence component of the line A current if line C is open so this is an interesting problem simply because we go back to our uh, last topic or last lesson which is balance and unbalance Polyphase, but it will become unbalanced simply because initially, okay, again, these are terminal points, okay, from our balance, so terminal points, balance uh, topic, terminal points, okay, these are terminal points, and it, uh, it is initially balanced, however, there's a fault, there's a breaker, the line is open at C. Now, what will happen to the power system? It will become unbalanced now simply because one of the currents is not equal to each other now. And that current is that current IC, which is MATIC or automatic zero value. Okay, as you can see here, we can have a little bit of analysis. If you have your impedance here, Z1, Z2, Z3 respectively, okay, you can add Z2 and Z3 here, right? Because it become a series and this is already open. So thus, this load here is Z2 plus Z3 and you have Z1. And if you want to get Z total, 
you need to have the product all over the sum by having this is in parallel. Well, again, little bit of DC circuits, right? But anyway, in terms of AC, what is the most important thing here is this. If you already get Z total, it's clear that the currents IA and IB are opposite to each other, right? They are opposite. And thus, this is the relationship why we need to simplify this. So hopefully you see that analysis, okay? So, and from there, you can now get IA or IB in terms of IA. If IA is reference 20 bar 0, definitely the anti-phase of IB is... 20, we will stick to 20, and then you have plus or minus 180, so I use positive 180 for this. Okay, that's the same. If that is plus or minus uh, 180, or you want to, your IB is simply negative 20, which is in the anti-phase, you can have the magnitude negative or positive or vice versa, or having the angle with plus or minus 180, so I use plus 180 instead. And go back Two, okay, the Fortescue's matrix. Number two, and get the current IA1 on that matrix. So you can go back to problem one and two. This video, you can see the matrix there. And the only difference with IA2 is IA2 is here and A2 rather is here and A is here. Okay, that is interchange. But anyway, this term here is zero simply because I see zero. The only parameters that you need to compute is IA plus AIB. Wherein A, again, is 1 bar 120. And thus, using your calculators, the answer here is 11.54 bar negative 30 degree amperes. So for that, what will be your next lesson? Your next lesson is more on per unit analysis. A very interesting problem, uh, topic rather on power systems. So stay tuned. Maraming salamat sa mga sumuporta at nag-subscribe. God bless.